Great, sourdough nation, it's baking time. So I'm all set here. I've got my oven turned up as hot as it will go. Um, I've heated it up on the fan setting. Um, if you've got a fan oven, that's fine. You've just got to be careful because the bread can burn where the fan is pushing the heat onto it. So you might need to turn your loaf around more than you otherwise would. I've turned it off and just got it on top and bottom heat. That's great. Um, and I can see that with my thermometer, I've got it 230 degrees C. That's perfect. We're hot and we're ready to bake. Now, the loaf has had its second and final rise in the basket under the shower cap. Now, if I take this off carefully, you'll see that that has risen beautifully. Um, it's still just inside the basket on the sides. You've got the seam running across the top. And um, if you were to press it lightly, um, it no longer springs out as it used to uh, before it was ready to rise. Now, if we rise it more than this, so it starts to spill over the sides, call that kind of muffin top, you're in real danger of the whole thing collapsing when it goes in the oven. So, for a large loaf, this is about as much as you want to rise it. Any more than that, you're likely that it will collapse and you'll end up with cow fat again. So, I've also got myself a really sharp knife so I can cut the loaf, score it, and mark it with my own signature cut. Um, got some oven gloves, I'm going to be needing those. This water, this atomizer, so this is a great way of getting steam uh, into the oven. Uh, with steam in the oven you, you get a nicer crust. It kind of increases the intensity of the heat a bit like when you put water on the hot coals in a sauna. Um, you just get a better crust. There's loads of ways of getting steam into your oven, but uh, this is my preferred way when uh, baking at home. So, last but not least, in the oven here, you may have noticed I've got a baking stone. Now, this is a really great bit of kit. Uh, so it's very hot, it lives in the oven. But there's not many things that don't benefit from being baked on a baking stone. I'm gonna put that back in because it is flipping hot. So that just lives in the oven. And it's a big, thick piece of thermal mass. It's great at holding the heat in the oven when I open the door. Um, and you need heat under your loaf. So whether you're baking with a tin or a sourdough loaf from a basket, you want to get heat in under the loaf. That's where it's needed in order to make the loaf jump up off the oven bottom. And you'll get a lovely, beautifully shaped, crusty loaf. So if you haven't got one, get yourself sorted out with a baking stone. If you can't buy one, you can maybe cut up a patio slab, sometimes works. Um, failing that, a really thick uh, baking tray will be nearly as good. Now, in with the loaf. And the seam's on top, so we need to tip it out and make sure that ends up underneath. So just carefully tip the loaf out. You don't want to knock it too hard or you'll knock. Uh, the air out of it and it will collapse. Now with a sharp knife I'm just going to give this a few deep slashes. So, five, that, that'll be good. Gently push it in and with the water spray give it a good squirt. And this is a bit like when you um, put water on the hot coals in a sauna. It really increases the intensity of the heat We'll get a better crust and more lift, and then an even more beautiful sourdough loaf. So plenty of water in there. Shut the door, 230 degrees C. Um, we'll check it after 15 minutes, maybe turn it around. Um, within about 25 to 30 minutes, it'll be golden, crispy, and baked. So the loaf has had about half an hour in the oven. Oh, and it looks and smells amazing. <laughs> Just check this out. Look at that for a beautiful looking loaf. It's, it's jumped off the bottom, you've got a nice shape to it, lovely colour. It smells amazing. That's, yeah, sounds hollow when we tap it on the bottom so we know that it's baked. And that good colour, that great crust will help to keep this loaf fresher for even longer. So if you don't eat it all straight away, that should keep easily for a week. It is super addictive. Once you get into baking sourdough, I will warn you that you might never be able to stop. And the part of that is because there's such endless variations, ways that you can tweak, improve, and make your sourdough loaf your very own. So join us. Um, if you've got any questions, I'm sure you have. We'll try to answer as many of them as possible in these few short videos. But of course, 
if you've got a question that hasn't been answered, um, then go onto Hobbs House Bakery, Sour Donation, go to the community page, and you'll find frequently asked questions. You can ask that burning question you have, and we'll endeavour to answer and get back to you as soon as possible.